everybody. I haven't been posting much. Uh, only a Bella and whatever. <coughs> um, I hope I can make this a little bit short and not bore you, but um, I haven't been the best in a while. If you haven't noticed, I don't post pictures of myself as much anymore. <laughs> Um, um, I honestly wish when I dealt with my anxiety or when I got anxiety and depression, not depression more, it was more, I get depressed in situations, but anyways, to deal with my anxiety from you know, growing up as a kid and stuff like that. I should have, instead of when I went to therapy, I should have just dealt with therapy and not take medication because I, my, my anxiety was mild and I should have dealt with my issues, which was like self-esteem and image and not liking myself and confidence and stuff etc etc so my anxiety got so bad due to certain situation and I ended up with insomnia and nausea a lot and I didn't deal with the why I've been having these issues so I went to do therapy at the hospital day treatment program and they wanted to put me on pills and they wanted, me, they wanted to put me on first before the therapy they wanted to put me on Ativan so they told me to take Ativan for insomnia didn't really work long so they decided to put me on metrosephine which is an antidepressant to help you eat because I lost a lot of weight and then uh, <coughs> and then I got on metrosephine it helps with sleep and boy did it help with sleep it's the only thing it helped with and and the nausea because it numbs your gut okay um i couldn't go on a high dose because the <laughs> this is too much information if once people don't like to hear it but i'm getting down dirty here i never had severe constipation like i did now before i took the metazophene i was going but i wasn't like this so when I took the mirtazaphine and I put, took a full dose, it gridlocked me. Laxatives didn't work, nothing. Nothing worked. I would have to do a lot of laxatives. So I took that for many years and then, anyways, um, I relied on laxatives on this damn drug every four days. Every single four days and I restricted blah, 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 blah and lost my weight. I was 90, I was down to 83 or 80 something pounds. Then I gained a little bit of weight. Then I stuck at 94, which I'm at now. I was 103. Anyways, I decided to get off this metazapine after when I broke my hip. Um, Cause I wanted to find out if this was causing the more constipation still. So I did that after breaking my hip shortly after and then we were weaning off, weaning off. And I was starting to go to the bathroom. Um, I broke my hip because the lack of nutrients. I wasn't taking calcium and all that. My, my bad, my bad, my bad. My bad and not getting my mind fixed. Um, anyways, then when I was working on getting the metaz off of metazophene, which I was doing good, I was going every other day, going poop. When every other day when I was weaning, 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 it took me a long time, about a year to get off this shit. Sorry for swearing. Uh, <clears throat> as I was weaning off this mirtazapine, my, I was, I took calcium after my hip, but then I, my calcium went high and the doctor's like, you got to take it down, blah, blah, blah. And I, was, I, I, me bad. I Googled it and freaked out. I have health anxiety. <laughs> bad, bad health anxiety, it gotten even worse. 
after the second break on my knee, same leg, right leg. Um, I got scared, really scared. And after the splint and everything, <coughs> I started taking calcium again. Finally, I should have done it in the first place. Anyways, this is what I get myself into, not doing therapy on my stupid brain. So I, this is, anyway, I should have, would have, could have. Second break happened. I had a lot of fear and I guess situation trauma, whatever. Um, took me a while to put weight on that damn leg. So um, I lost a bit of muscle and then, and I'm trying to get back to physio, just like I did with the freaking. this is another thing. I'm all over the place. Another thing, after the hip, I had sharp pain in my, oh, you won't be able to see it. But anyway, in my groin area where the hip flexor is, um, for four years, uh, and other issues, uh, pain in this, also caused by atrophy. But I had this pain in the groin ever since the, the, the hip fracture. So I got injections done, dealt with that, along with all my medications, well, Ativan, Stallone, and Metazepine. And, um, it helped, but uh, the uh, lidocaine injection and the Botox injection, it helped take the pain away, but my leg felt like a log. What these injections do is weaken your muscles, which is not good. So I stopped physio, stupid me, because they just said walk, just walk. Walking will give you the strength. But I was walking weird because the lidocaine and the Botox made it numb and weak and felt like a log. But I was like kind of getting there, I was walking, but I was walking funny and I was getting happy at one point. But then my knee broke, right? So I had to stop the injections. And then uh, I dealt with all this without injections, without painkillers. I still had that pain and ongoing pain in my hip. So I dealt with it. It went away, come back, went away, come back. Home. Did physio, every, every physio I do, some sharp pain comes along and they say, oh, physio gives pain. Yes, it gives pain, but it's not supposed to be ongoing sharp pains, okay? Um, but I pulled through. I just kept on doing what I could do. Walk, walk, walk. Exercise, minimal exercise I can do, whatever. It's so frustrating. I'm so frustrated. On top of dealing with taking laxes every five to six days, because I dread those things. They give me side effects like terrible side effects uh make my muscles hurt everything it causes pain everywhere in my legs uh dealing with the fatigue and i i feel like death when i take them i'm not, i'm small and for some reason i don't deal with this medications very well um they make me really sick now they're making me start to make me really really sick, nauseous all the time. I, I can't even tell if I have a bug or from the medications. Anyways, um, where am I going with this? Uh, I bet you a lot of people suffer with constipation because I go in the drugstores and the laxes are kind of <laughs> a little bit down. Um, but I'm being honest here. And also, I had an MRI to see what the hell this pain was. It couldn't see anything because um, the metal in me, so it destroyed the picture. So, still having the pain for months later, months later, my hips are sinking in in the back and everything, and more pain. So, I was like, fuck this, sorry for swearing. I'm gonna get the ultrasound done. Take my chances, what, what, you know, what do I got to lose? Turns out I got a hernia in the groin area, I think. I'm not too sure. They said indirect hernia, so I look at the label and it shows this hernia there, but then, but anyways, I'll find out. And I also got tendonitis 
Um, I probably have it on the other leg too because I have the same problems. Um, I have tendonitis and birditis in the leg from atrophy, the tendonitis in the LT band. Um, but I think I had tendonitis in my hip flexors too or some sort. I might, maybe that's why. I'm gonna find out when I go see the surgeon. They haven't called me yet, but apparently I have a hernia and I have to get that fixed. It's a small one, but uh, now I kind of know things and I feel <coughs> a bit better, but I'm not well at all. Dealing, but dealing with all this, and I also got low, low blood pressure. My blood pressure is 97 and over 65. So I'm dealing with all these problems and the laxatives and not being able to poopy. It's very hard mentally and physically dealing with your guts and your mind and uh, fear, trauma, whatever. Dealing with a lot of crap and isolation because I can't walk far. I can't stand long. Uh, being in your home all the time affects your brain. Not having a healthy gut, not a healthy mind. And it's very hard for people to understand about the poopy part. Oh, just take more fiber. This is what started this and the anxiety. Well, the anxiety and everything, but I'm all over the place. I'm just, I just want people to be aware that constipation is debilitating. Dealing with gut, even if it's diarrhea, IBS, diarrhea, constipation to IBD, anything that goes wrong with your gut, gastroparesis, stuff like that, it's your second mind. So when your second second mind is like messed up, your mind gets messed up too. And that's what I've been dealing with. And I just wanna let people know what's happening and why it's taking me so long. Um, I've taken so long too because of fear and I, I'm very fear-based and I have a health anxiety. Um, but I just wanted to let everybody know that everybody has something, yes, and not to judge a book by its cover or the way they look or just because you're with a walker, you shouldn't be with a walker. I had people say, you shouldn't be with a walker, you should be walking by now. I, I, I get tired of people tell me, you should be walking by now. Yes, but I'm dealing with other stuff on top of that here. Uh, the freaking low blood pressure. That well, God knows what that is. Like, I go get my electrolytes, dehydration checked out. It's not low enough to have that low blood pressure. It's like 80, goes down to 82, 50, 85, like 60, something like that. Um, and I get very weak. And sometimes when it goes up, I get very weak and sick feeling and everything. And it's just, ever since I started all these medications, ever since my guts, like I'm off the metazophine now, my gut is really messed up. And I was pooping here and there really well. Now it's, my digestive is really slow on top of like anxiety makes it slow too, but it's the worst. I have the worst feeling in my gut, nausea and the urge to go poop and you can't poop and it makes you feel sick, the gas, everything. And this is just like a big bulb. Bullshit. Um, if anybody is going through something like this, <laughs> please do talk about it. Like, talk to me. You can talk to me. And 
share your thoughts or well not thoughts or just I don't know um that's all I have to I just wanted to tell you but I found out certain things on this ultrasound I want to get the other hip looked at too but that's what I've been dealing with and I hope everybody else is doing okay and um having a wonderful day it's very nice out um take care of yourselves and be well and if you have a friend that's going through depression really bad keep in contact with them because you never know like i'm still here and it's a struggle but depression anxiety and suicide nowadays is high and I care and um, I just want to let, let you know I care and you can talk to me too and we can maybe start something. I hope I'm not uh, I'm boring you guys but I just wanted to share that and let you know that hey maybe I'm not the only one you know Anyways, uh, hope you have a great night, evening, and be well. Mwah.